three. We have a hot air balloon that's rising vertically at a rate of one foot per second. So let me draw the picture here. So we have a balloon that's at point A and then it's rising up to point B. <clears throat> and we have a couple of things. We're going to call this distance H, we're going to call this distance Y, and that distance X. So the hot air balloon is rising at a rate of one foot per second. A person sees the balloon at point A with the angle of elevation 45. So that tells us that this angle right here is 45 degrees. 30 seconds later, the balloon is now at point B. And since we know that it was rising at a rate of one foot per second, we know that this is then 30 feet. And the angle of elevation now is 60. So the angle for the, from the bottom line up to the line going to B is 60 degrees. So what we want to find is what is x equal to? So we can set up a couple of equations based off of this. So what we want to use here in both cases is tangent because that will relate our opposite to our adjacent. We don't want to deal with the hypotenuse because we don't know anything about the hypotenuse. So there's a couple of equations we can set up. First of all, we know that uh, for the inner triangle here, that our angle of elevation was 45 degrees. So keep in mind that if you have a 45 degrees, and this is a right triangle here, if you have 45 degrees, that means that both legs are the same uh, distance. So that tells us that x is equal to y using the first uh, triangle. The second triangle tells us that we know tangent of, and instead of 60, I'm going to use the radians version, which is pi over 3. Tangent of pi over 3 has to equal this entire side, the opposite, over the adjacent. Well, this entire side is y plus 30, and we have over x. So these are our two equations, but we want to solve for x. So if you notice, since we know x equals y, instead of this y, we could just put x, and then x would be our only variable, and that's exactly what we want to solve for. So we can write this instead as tan pi over 3 equals x plus 30 over x, and now we only have x. So now we just need to figure out what's going on here with these angles. Well, tangent of pi over 3, that's one of your unit circle things, so we, you should know that's square root of 3. So this square root of 3 has to equal x plus 30 over x. And now to solve for x, this is just an algebra problem. So if we multiply over by x, we get that root 3x equals x plus 30. We can subtract x over and factor out. So x times the root 3 minus 1 equals 30, so that's by subtracting x and then factoring out x, and finally divide by what's left. So x is going to be equal to 30 over 30 over the square root of 3 minus 1. So what we need to do here is we need to rationalize this, because if you notice, none of the answers have fractions. So to rationalize, you remember that you're going to multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So let's see what we get here by doing that. So when we multiply by the conjugate, remember that and for the numerator, we're just going to leave it factored. So we'll have 30 times the square root of 3 plus 1. Now on the denominator, whenever you multiply by the conjugate, you always get the first term squared minus the second term squared. So root 3 times root 3 would give us 3, and negative 1 times 1 would give us minus 1. And remember, the middle terms always cancel out when you do the conjugate. So we get simply 2 here on the bottom, and 2 can cancel with 30 to leave you with 15 times root 3 plus 1. So typically in this type of question, your answer choices are going to be rationalized, so you might have some extra work to do afterwards, and that gives us answer choice E.